myself sanjay udge assistant professor department of electronics engineering walchand institute of technology solapur now we are going to discuss dio binary baseband pam system learning outcome at the end of this topic student is be able to understand dio binary encoding technique in baseband digital transmission dio binary encoding reduces the maximum frequency of the baseband signal the word dio means to double the transmission capacity of the binary system let the pam signal ak represents kth bit then the encoder the new waveform is ck is equals to ak plus ak minus 1 thus two successive bits are added to get encoded value of the kth bit hence ck becomes a correlated signal even though ak is not correlated this introduces inter symbol interference in the controlled manner to reduce from the above diagram of dio binary signal scheme the process can be explained as the binary digital dk is the first pass through a filter which consists of a delay element the input gets delayed by this element by dk minus 1 the input dk and the delayed in element dk minus 1 gets added to get a dio binary signal at the output it can be given as vdk which is output of a encoder is dk plus dk minus 1 due to this the uncorrelated sequence get correlated into a sequence of vdk digits but this can introduce an isi in transmitted signal however the isn can be eliminated by controlling the correlative coding dio binary signaling expression let us assume that the delayed element is ideal hence transfer function is given by hd of f is equal to e raised to minus j2 pi f tb the transfer function uh, function of filter contains a delay element and adder which is given by 1 plus hd of f is equal to 1 plus e raised to minus 2 pi f tb therefore the final equation for transfer function of cascaded filter with an ideal channel is given by h of f is equal to 1 plus h d of f into h c of f so h of f is equal to h c of f into 1 plus e raised to minus j2 pi f tb so this is the complete diagram of dio binary encoder in which uh, the input signal dk is given to a xor gate one input is dk another input to xor gate is bk minus 1 which is the delayed version of a, a xor gate output bk so bk is equals to xor of dk and bk minus 1 so output bk will be uh, at logic 1 when either dk or bk minus 1 is at logic 1 otherwise it will be remains to zero output bk is given to uh, adder circuit as a1 this adder circuit uh, will have another input as a2 which is a delayed version of bk that is bk minus 1 and hence finally the encoded signal is given by vdk is equal to bk plus bk minus 1 the working is as follows the input is dk which has a bit duration equals to tb it changes its value between 0 to 1 assume that 0 is equal to minus 1 and 1 is equal to 1 volt output is fed back through a delay generating circuit which gives the output bk of delays as bk is equal to dk xor bk minus 1 this output is further delayed by one bit again and bk and bk minus 1 are given as input to adder which in turn give a encoded signal as vdk is equal to bk plus bk minus 1 so vdk is equals to dk xor bk minus 1 plus dk minus 1 xor bk minus 2 so vdk the the value of dk changes between plus 1 and minus 
hence the value of bk at the output of differential encoder will also vary with respect to dk therefore the encoded signal vdk will be given as vdk is equal to plus 2 volt uh, if bk is plus 1 volt bk minus 1 is minus 1 volt or it is 0 if bk and bk minus 1 both are same or vdk output is minus 2 volt if bk minus 1 bk minus 1 is plus 1 this is the do binary signal in which uh, uh, bk and bk minus 1 is been compared to give the output vdk hence the this gives the correlation between the values of vdk the do binary coding hence is also called as correlative coding from the waveform it is clear that when there is a transition made from one interval to other it is not possible to change from plus 2 volt to minus 2 volt this shows that vdk depends on both bk and bk minus 1 the name is given as such because in each bit interval the encoded voltage vdk results in combination of two bits do binary decoder now let us come to the transmitter side once the vdk signal which is sent by a transmitter it is now available at the uh, receiver section composed composed of, uh, of magnitude uh, circuit and inverter circuit here vdk is converted into a uh, uh, into a, um, a mod of vdk that is plus 2 and minus 2 is converted to 2 volt then it is given to a inverter which is having a threshold 1 1 and will give the invert of the dk signal the above circuit consists of device which provides magnitude of that is the absolute value of the vdk that is if minus 2 or plus 2 are input then output of mag of the magnitude block will be 2 volt and it is given to logical inverter for this uh, we will discuss uh, this diagram this do de binary decoder so uh, as it has been explained uh, the precoder at the receiver side is used to avoid error propagation which is a differential amplifier i have discussed about the uh, xor gate function and delay unit which is shown in the dotted rectangular block the output of uh, which is the dk of the xor gate is is given to a level shifter the level shifter output is ak uh, uh, which is in the form of plus 1 and minus 1 so the level shifter converts the uh, input signal into a, a, a binary form into bipolar format that is plus 1 if dk is 1 if dk is 1 output is level shifter ak is 1 if dk is 0 output is minus 1 okay so this is what been explained now uh, the next part is do binary encoder that will be uh, output is ck so ck will be equals to 0 if bk is equals to 1 at the decoder as it has been explained uh, the received signal is ck it is given to rectifier to give to get the magnitude and then it is given to a decision device that will decide the output bk original sequence uh, yeah, bk will be 1 if ck is less than 1 or bk is 0 if ck is greater than 1 so this is the interesting um, uh, table bk signal if you want to transmit 0010110 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Uh, and suppose a third a third row that is uh, uh, dk is suppose it is initially 1 dk minus 1 will be uh, 1 so uh, the second row is dk minus 1 so what we, what will be uh, a dk dk is the xor of bk and dk minus 1 so 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 so from uh, then dk is been converted into uh, ak which is a level shifter for one it is uh, for ak is equals to one uh, dk is equals to one ak is one if dk is 0 ak is minus one that is the fourth row now uh, we got in the fourth row uh, ak we may write ak minus 1 and finally ck ck is simply addition of fourth row and fifth row that is ak and ak minus 1 so 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 1 2 1 minus 1 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 now this ck uh, uh, to get the magnitude we got the last row 2 2 0 2 2 0 0 2 now 
uh, from CK uh, using a decision device, we got the original sequence which has been sent to, uh, at the transmitter section as BK 0010110 using a decision de uh, device. Now the question, how many levels you will find in bipolar NRZ format? There are actually uh, three levels, uh, that is uh, symbol plus volt, zero volt and uh, symbol zero volt. Okay. Uh, for, uh, for symbol 0, it is 0 volt, symbol 1 plus V and minus V. References. Thank you.